They say, oh my god, I see the way you shine. Hey everyone from Korea, it's Tone tonight. I'm really thankful to the people that have really made me be able to live out my dream that I had when I was just playing music on the street. So for people to do this, they don't realize, but it actually made me be able to achieve my dreams and everything that I've always wanted growing up and, and worked so hard for. So it just shows that, you know, if you really work on something and work on something, um, you know, people will resonate with it and you can do anything you set your mind to. Uh, my new single, You're So Fucking Cool, is about going to a fancy party and uh, realising that it's not everything that you think it's going to be. It's not like a crazy new lifestyle. It kind of made me miss just kind of going to having barbecues with my friends and hanging out with my friends and realising that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Everyone's too cool. Everyone's too fake. I try to start a conversation, but I can't seem to relate. Yo, I'm about to get an Uber. Cause you're so fucking cool You're just way too fucking cool And I don't really care if you're king Well, I mean, on social media, if you write something like that, it's almost, it kind of is in a way of, like, sarcasm. So right now on social media, if I was to write something like that, if someone writes, like, oh, I love Tones and I, like that it's like sarcastic so i thought the whole way the song is very sarcastic and um, and you're so fucking cool is it is kind of a sarcastic way so i thought if i wrote it like that it would be a bit more childish and sarcastic my goal would be to be able to to be known of putting on like the best live performances um, you know, singing live as well is so important, you know, people knowing that what they hear is what they're going to get and putting on shows that tell stories and really inspire people. And that's really, you know, the reason I'm in this, in this industry is to play music live. So I really want to stick to that and make sure that people know that if they come to a live show, it's going to be worth it. You know, being able to watch the sunset and having all my friends there and having a huge crowd of people or on New Year's Eve, I busked on New Year's Eve and having nothing, setting up somewhere where there's no one and then, you know, an hour later having like 200 people just gathered around and realistically like that wouldn't have been a memory for all those people if you hadn't decided to set up on the street and start playing and you're creating memories for yourself and for other people, so yeah. I would probably tell my younger self not to worry too much about what people think. You know, I never did when I was growing up and stuff um, through school, so, you know, releasing music should be the exact same. You write music for yourself and don't worry about anything else if people want to bring you down or anything like that. Don't waste your time worrying and just keep pushing, moving forward. And I think that's the most important thing. Well, thank you so much for supporting my song, Dance Monkey, and I cannot believe it's number one. I never, ever thought it would be number one um, anywhere in the world. So, you know, it's pretty crazy what's happening. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm really hoping that I can come over soon and play a show for you guys so you can really see what I'm made of. So love you all. Thank you.